hello youtube um this is dj kobe and yes you welcome to yes another um, virtual dj 8 tutorial today i'm going to run up the issue about keyboard configuration and talk a little bit about uh controller mappings after that i will leave a video link in the description where you follow to uh, uh have in-depth tutorial on uh controller mappings it's it was actually done by uh a fellow you know a fellow dj and i thought it's gonna help so i just have to you know uh, recommend that one in my video so i will just leave the link below and after watching this one you have you gonna follow that one and then have in-depth you know uh educational in-depth what do you call it uh tutorial on controller mappings now uh keyboard configurations actually um is the same as uh controller mappings right uh, just that keyboard configuration has to do with keys on the keyboard and uh, controller mappings has to do with buttons on the controller uh, first what you have to do is working with let, we are going to work with keyboard configuration right now first what you have to do is identify the action of which you want to perform with your keyboard okay or your key so now i want to activate an effect on an active deck okay apparent uh, regardless of the effect that is selected you know and when i hover you can see that i have scroll lock assigned to that uh i have scroll lock assigned to that effect that is you know it's actually activate the effect whatever effect selected if it is uh let's say the backspin that i've selected scroll lock is going to activate that one where if it is a uh, a distortion or the echo scroll lock is apparently uh, apparently going to activate that one it works for both decks actually i didn't assign a deck for each you know key so that is what we are going to look at now to do that uh, running up you know about keyboard configuration what you're gonna do is first I identify the action actually I want to activate an effect so what I would do is head straight to my settings head to controllers and what I'll do first here is actually let me I will have to delete you know this one and do the whole stuff again so that you get to understand what I'm doing now I would click on key lane I head to settings head to controllers click on key lane and then I press my control my scroll lock select scroll lock again by clicking on it and then head to the action pane and I'll type effect active or there is another process either I type effect okay as I type you will see it here either I type effect active or I head to plugins and I'll find the same action here so there are apparently two ways of doing that either you type it straight ahead if you know what exactly uh, you to type or if you don't know just head to the category of which we have uh, the action as uh, under and then you select and you just select the action there for example if I want to assign it to play I will just head to audio controls Yes, you know and I'll have my play pause stop or uh, whatever I'll have here but actually it is effect active that I want to work with now I'll have to save it let's put that one into there since you can see my keyboard I'll have to activate my screen keyboard here now I will load in a song and actually let me select this uh, effect flanger uh, you punch right? Yeah. Handsome, handsome. Stand up for DJ Kobe. DJ Kobe. <laughs> Effects have been activated whilst I press my scroll lock button. Let's head to deck two and see. And uh, deck two has backspin selected. Now let's play this one. Punch right? Yeah. Okay, so I think it works perfectly now quick ahead uh, let me move to controller mappings 
Now controller mapping works the same way as keyboard configurations, just that it has to do with buttons. Now controller mappings, uh, you have to follow the same, you know, um, routine, head to settings, head to controllers. And what you have to do is now, if you have your controller plugged in, actually, I don't have uh, a controller here. Forgive me for that. But what you have to do when your controller is plugged in, Virtual DJ will automatically detect that controller, provided that it is compatible with Virtual DJ. Now, to know how do you know that your controller is compatible with Virtual DJ? Actually, there are a list of controllers that are compatible with Virtual DJ. And to see that one or to identify that one, I head here and then right click and then I'll click on show com controllers compatible with Virtual DJ. And there is a list, a whole list of you know controllers which are compatible with Virtual DJ. So um, you might be lucky if your controller is you know here and it's compatible with Virtual DJ. With that one, uh, there is default configurations for uh, the con your controller. Unless when you wanna you know perform or you wanna do a whole roundup configuration for uh, your controller with that one you have to head to the delete button delete all configurations and then you follow the same procedure okay you follow the same procedure with um, the, as I did for the keyboard configuration you head to key learn you press or uh, yeah you press the button on your controller head to the category of which the action you want to assign to us and then you head to you know, the actions pane and then you select your action or straight ahead you type the action in there and you have your controller configured for that one nonetheless i will leave you know a link okay a, a video link in the description where you have to follow and and i think it it has uh in-depth uh, education on controller mappings and I just recommend in a way of recommendation I have to you know leave that link there so that you follow and you have in-depth uh, education on controller mappings actually that video was not done by me it was done by a fellow but I think I liked it and I just re re recommend that one for you so you head to the description pane and you have uh, that video or that link there you follow that link and you get to know in-depth you know education on controller mapping thank you very much hit the subscribe button if you like this video um leave your comment actually this is gonna be my last video or apparently maybe yeah my last video on keyboard configuration except when you are facing kind of difficulties on assigning maybe other uh keys just leave uh comments comments that's in the comment box whatever you want me to, to do on uh keyboard configurations leave it in the comment box i will look at it and try my possible best to help you on that but for that until then uh i'll say goodbye on keyboard configurations well so um have a nice time and you'll meet some other day with another tutorial. Stay blessed. The name is DJ Kobe. Thank you. Peace.